is up you guys it's allison welcome back to tiny herd and welcome to vlogmas day one i cannot believe it's already december but it is time for vlogmas so tonight i don't have a whole ton planned um i'm kind of just going to show you guys my evening spot cleaning routine with the pets and do some other pet chores so tonight's going to be a little bit low key but i do have a lot of great fun stuff planned for vlogmas so if you are not subscribed and if you don't have notifications turned on, make sure you do that so you don't miss an upload. I have a mystery pet supply haul coming tomorrow uh, for a new pet. And I have hauls planned. Uh, we're gonna do Christmas cages. I'm gonna show you guys how to make cage liners. We're gonna go get a real Christmas tree. I can't even think of all the other things that I'm planning on doing, but it's going to be a lot of fun and I am really excited. So that's my little spiel on Christmas or Vlogmas. Uh, I will shut up now and let's go ahead and do some stuff with the pets tonight. All right, so I'm in the pet room now. I'm going to do kind of like my evening routine kind of and take you guys along with me. Um, I have some laundry to put away, so I'm gonna do that. That's obviously not an evening routine thing, but I have laundry to put away, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm going to spot clean all of my cages, which I do every night, um, so I'll show you guys that. What else? Other than that, I just make sure everybody has hay and water. Um, my, I don't actually give the pets the, their dinner. Um, my boyfriend gets home right at five because he works a lot closer to home than I do. So when he gets home at five, he gives everyone their veggies. So they've already eaten. There's some remnants of the bunny. So if they decide to munch on that, I'll show you guys a couple cute clips of that. But they've already eaten their veggies for the night. So I'm I kind of come back an hour or two later. Um, well, I usually spot clean all of their cages every night right before I go to bed, so it's usually like 9.30ish. Um, I'm gonna do it a little bit earlier tonight for the sake of Vlogmas so that I can get some good footage for you guys. But yeah, that's really all I do every night is just spot clean, make sure everybody has hay and water. Um, the bunny's litter box doesn't need cleaned out tonight because I do it every other day and I did it yesterday. So I guess we'll do that and I'll take you guys along and then we'll see what else we get up to tonight. So I'm gonna show how I spot clean my cages and talk about Vlogmas a little bit. Ignore the way I look if you end up being able to see me because I just threw my hair up to spot clean. But this is what I do every single night, usually right before I go to bed. I'm doing it a little bit early today for the sake of Vlogmas. Somebody is rumbling right behind the camera you guys can hear that so I do this every single night keeps the cages clean I can change out small pads it just makes it a lot easier to stay on top of how dirty the cages are it gives me an opportunity also while I'm doing this to kind of check on everyone make sure nobody looks out of the ordinary kind of what their behavior because when I, whenever I spot clean, they all kind of like have, not the same routine, but they all kind of do the same thing. Like I know every time I do this that 
Belle and Lily are going to bother each other, which is happening right now. That's why you hear rumbling. Callie usually comes out and tries to chew on the dustpan, which I'm sure she'll do at some point. Haven't done about my dustpan there. And I'm gonna go. So what I do with these pads is I take them and shake them off in the trash and then bring it back to the cage if it's still clean and dry. So this one's not bad, it's not wet or anything. Um, obviously it's not clean. <laughs> I said clean and dry, but obviously it's not clean since it's been in their cage, but it's not like super wet or anything, so it's still fine to have in their cage for another day or so. So I, like I said, do this every night. Um, I change out small pads in beds if they're wet, like that one's fine. This one's actually a little dirty. So I'll put a new pad in this one. It's actually the pad that goes with that house. And I gotta move you guys. Okay, and then we're on to the middle section of the cage. So I feel like I've been all over the place with this explanation. But basically I just like to make sure the cage is staying clean and dry. Not only does it keep cages cleaner, but it helps me keep an eye on their poops to make sure nobody's poops look weird. Um, if anybody had like weird urine, pee in their urine, um, like that right there. Um, there's a calcium deposit. There is, um, I like to keep an eye on that stuff in case you know anybody had pee in their, or your, uh, blood in their pee or, um, just anything weird that would get left in the cage. Um, it's just an easier way to keep on top of those things while at the same time keeping my cage from smelling and uh, keeping an eye on the babes. So I'm gonna talk about Vlogmas a little bit. So <laughs> there's one thing too, if you guys see any red spots, like, I don't know if you can see this right here. That's from a tomato. <laughs> Sometimes it freaks me out and I'm like, what is that? But it's from a tomato. It's fine. So I like to put a two by two down underneath Kelly Pig. I almost whacked her with that. Um, underneath their hay tunnel so that it's easier to just, you know, pick up that one pad and shake it off in the trash. That just keeps it a lot easier to clean that middle section because um, I spend a lot of time obviously eating hay so they spend a lot of time in that area of their cage. I gotta move you guys again and when I clean this last section we're gonna talk about vlogmas a little bit. Okay so if you didn't see my intro video um, I will link it but just to talk about vlogmas a little bit so there will be a video every single day um, from today through the day of Christmas, so 25 days of Christmas. Each video will go up the next day, so today is December 1st while I'm filming this, so this will go up on the 2nd. That's just like how I like to do Vlogmas. I know other people do it differently, but that's the easiest for me to do. So I do it that way. I am really kind of doing Vlogmas. I'm not really filming anything ahead of time, um, but I do kind of have a plan. So there will be some hauls, um, like tomorrow I'm going to do a haul for a new mystery pet, so make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't, if you don't want to miss things like that. There will be a mystery pet haul, there will be um, some talking about what I'm getting the pets for Christmas, I'm going to be doing a, I'm going to call it a mini makeover, but really kind of a big makeover in the pet room. Um, I guess it is a mini makeover. It's more of like the decor, not necessarily like the layout or anything. Um, so I'll be doing that. What else am I doing? I have a lot, I kind of have a plan for every day. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own fleece cage liners. Um, we're going to be doing Christmas cage themes. What else? We are going to do some Christmas stuff. So I'll show you guys how I do some of my decorating. 
we get a real Christmas tree, so I'll be doing that during Vlogmas. Um, just kind of some, you know, general Christmas stuff. I'm trying to keep most of it pet related just because I assume that's what you guys <laughs> would be most interested in. So that's kind of my plan. Just kind of everyday pet care stuff and some Christmas stuff and hopefully there'll be some fun stuff in there too that you guys will get to enjoy along with me. But that is my cages spot cleaned. Now I'm going to get everybody hay, make sure everybody has water, um, make sure everybody, you know, has everything they'll need for the, the, the night. I'll check them again before bedtime because it's only like 6 o'clock or 6.30 right now. So I'll do a lot more with the pets tonight anyways, but I like to make sure they have everything they need after I'm done spot cleaning just so that I know everybody's got what they need for the night. See what the bunnies are doing. Is he bothering you, Mr. Andy? He just wants grooming all the time, huh? Mr. Mikey, are you spoiled? Are you a spoiled bunny? Oh, you're a sleepy bunny, huh? Are you a sleepy boy? Are you a sleepy boy? Yeah, it's your nap time, huh? Before you come out and play it. Right before bed, huh? Are you still a shy boy, Johnny Pig? Are you still a little shy boy? Huh? Hello, pretty boy. Hello, pretty boy. What's he doing? Look at this mess you made, Mr. Mike. Look at this mess you guys made with the hay. In case you guys are curious, uh, this room was fully cleaned and vacuumed on Saturday, and it's Tuesday. And this is what happens. Also our hay bins right here. So that's why there's so much hay right in this spot. Because it just gets dropped on the ground when I give hay to everybody else in this room. Because I have to carry it over to all of these cages. But it's alright. It's just hay. The bunnies eat it off the floor. I'll do a vacuum tomorrow. I kind of like to do a vacuum about halfway through the week, so like on a Wednesday, Tuesday, usually Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, I'll vacuum depending on how bad it's getting, uh, just to keep the room from being completely a disaster. how full I filled this mug like I didn't mean to do that and I almost couldn't carry it into here I also wanted to show you guys some other stuff I've been working on tonight so I'm working on my website it's the tinyherd.com I will link it down below in case you're interested but it just has a lot of articles about guinea pig and rabbit care there's some freebies on there if you guys are interested but I've just been working on some articles for that I also have finished and uploaded a video, I've been working on some descriptions. Um, here's a little sneak peek if you want to know what videos are coming. Um, but I have videos planned through March of 2021. I have videos done and scheduled through the end of January. So there's definitely content coming for you guys and a lot of it I'm pretty excited about, put a lot of time into a lot of these videos, so I hope you guys enjoy them. I've also just been working on scripts, because I do kind of do like, I do write a full script for each one of my videos, but I don't end up reading them word for word. Um, they're kind of just like an outline of what I want to say. So I'm going to be doing a guinea pig care basics video, you guys can see. So I'm starting to work on some scripts for my videos for February, because uh, February... January, February, March are the busiest times of year for me at work, so I want to make sure that I have a lot of content prepared ahead of time for you guys so that my channel just doesn't, you know, go dead for three months of the year. So, 
working on all of that, so lots of pet stuff and YouTube stuff tonight. vlogmas day one i'm here with my christmas tree in our living room um like i said not a whole lot going on tonight kind of just wanted to ease into vlogmas this year but there's a lot of fun stuff coming so i will see you guys tomorrow for december 2nd vlogmas day two and i hope you guys enjoy i'll see you tomorrow bye